news shifting gears here and only on WLWT some disturbing allegations tonight involving young teenagers at a local Catholic school. Five eighth graders have been arrested and charged with sex crimes. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live outside the Juvenile Justice Center in Hamilton with the details. Karen. Well, Mike, these kids are 13 and 14 year olds. They're accused of forcing another student into a bathroom stall and doing something extremely inappropriate. Unholy acts alleged to have taken place inside St. Anne Catholic School in Hamilton. I'm shocked. I'm very upset. Five teenagers, four 14 year olds and a 13 year old were arrested and charged with various crimes, including kidnapping, gross sexual imposition and public indecency. One grandmother agreed to talk to us, but asked we don't release her name or show her face. I'm just really angry that it had to come to uh, somebody calling you, like me having to call you and say, hey, <laughs> something's going on here. According to court documents obtained by WLWT, the teens forced another child into a bathroom stall while they exposed themselves and would force the victim to engage in sexual contact. Oh, my heart totally goes out, you know, to the victim. Um, it could have been one of my grandchildren. Court records indicate the crimes took place between September 15th of last year and this past March 1st. The teens were charged and arrested last week. Parents say they wish the school was more transparent. They don't have to tell us all the details, but they could at least let us know that something's going on. The principal of St. Anne declined to comment and referred me to the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. A spokeswoman released a written statement saying in part, any allegation of criminal conduct is immediately reported to the civil authorities and the administration cooperates fully with any police investigation. Please rest assured that the safety of students and staff is of paramount importance and the staff works diligently to ensure that safety every day. And court documents and the police report, they don't make it clear of how many times this may have happened over the course of those six months or if it was just a one time occurrence. But according to the documents I received, it does involve just one victim reporting live in Hamilton. Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you.